wash daily Daily wash, wash daily God, please clean my room this time Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening Welcome to Daily Wash Wednesdays Today's scripture reference will be taken from Genesis, the second chapter, the fourth through seventh verses, New King James Version, which reads, This is the history of the heavens and the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Before any plant of the field was in the earth, and before any herb of the field had grown, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain on the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. But a mist went up from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living being. Hallelujah and praise God. For those of you who follow me on social media, I placed the picture up a few days ago of the fresh flowers that I incorporated into my home. And I was just taking notice of the beauty that they bring in and they just remind you of God's presence. And when I put a picture up of these flowers that first day, the carnations weren't blooming yet. They were actually closed very tightly and they looked substantially smaller than the daisies. But today, they look like they belong in a bunch. And our scripture reference is talking about the creation or a portion of it, I should say. And... As we remember to take a look around us at all the beautiful things that God has created, and I want you to remember just how powerful our God is and just how much he has taken care of everything that you need even before you were thought of. If we remember the scripture reference, it literally tells us that God created all of these other things in the earth, and he did all these other things, and he took care of everything once he took care of man. And man, as a result, should have nothing that he should worry about. So if we could bring this in today's terms, we know that even since the times of creation, it takes time for things to blossom. It takes time for things to bloom. And that includes you and that includes your process. There's some of you who may not feel like you can compete in whatever race God laid out for you. Some of you may feel inadequate. Some of you may not feel like you can measure up to the other people around you. But just as we talked about these flowers needing to take their time to bloom, you need to take your time to bloom as well. Trust that God knows exactly what he's doing. And just as these flowers are beautiful in the bunch, taking their place as they are fully blossoming now, that's exactly what God wants to cultivate in your life today. Amen? And whenever you feel a shadow of doubt, whenever you feel as though things are out of control, take a moment to reflect on the great creation and how much God loves you so much that he planned out every detail of the world, every detail of the earth, and he blew nostrils. He, excuse me, he blew air into the nostrils of man. And that was the first man, Adam, who is our father earthly father that is so just keep that in mind don't allow this world to get you down and out don't allow this world to make you feel as though you don't have what it takes God is in you and we know through God's word we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength God bless you go in peace but first let's go to the Lord in prayer Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this daily wash. Thank you for reminding us of your beauty each and every day through all of your creation. We thank you for humbling us and for reminding us that you have taken care of everything that we need. Even before you formed man, you were planning out our days. And Lord, we just thank you right now for easing any of our concerns, for reminding us that what we have is exactly what the world needs today. Thank you for reminding us that you chose us to accomplish your will in the earth and that we are in fact good enough. Thank you for reminding us that no matter what it looks like, against all odds, you have equipped us to stand the test of time, Father God. And right now in this moment, we worship you, we praise you, we love you, we lift Jesus higher. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week.
sky.